Hi everyone, and welcome to St. George's Grenada in the Caribbean. Today I'm doing a flight from here to Cariaco. And the reason I came up with this idea for this flight, I just watched a really interesting video on YouTube. It was about an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 30 minutes, about this guy who was a sailing legend. And uh, his name was Paul Erling Johnson. And um, he crossed the Atlantic at 16 solo, you know, so that was quite some time ago. He built and designed yachts as well. And um, where I'm going at in Cariaco was where he was last at before he passed away. He passed away uh, two years ago in June of 21 on board his last boat was which was named the cherub and um so yeah if you're into sailing and all of that stuff then i mean i'm in a, i'm in a sailing too and flying so you know you might find that interesting we're going to talk more about the documentary and some more things about what it said about the guy as we fly towards the island so right now what i need to do though is get on board but first let, let me show you here let me go back okay and here here here's where we at right here St. George's, okay, so, and I'm trying to remember the name of the airport, but it's right here, but anyway, St. George's, we're going from here to Cariaco, which is right here. Now, this, I believe, is where those, all of the boats were at, and you can see that quite a few times in that documentary, and I, I'm also going to put a link to that documentary in the description of the video in case you want to take a look at it and um you may find it interesting okay so now let's get back to the airport and i'm going to get this plane ready to go it's the britain norman trylander all right so what we're going to do now is let's take care of the, all of this remove these things and accept the boarding sets not just yet on those with the rest of them yet Okay, now let's go ahead and get ready to get this plane started. Uh, let's see, first of all, prop, prop one zero, get it right about here. It's up a little bit. All right, now what I'm going to do is get my batteries on. Everything else will be fine. Now up here, let's make sure our fuel selectors are set right. Left, right, both. Looks great. Um, and we're going to get our fuel pumps on shortly. And let's see what else. Oh, we're going to get our switches and our avionics on here too as well. Let that boot up and I'll saw our mixtures. I'm going to go all full rich. Okay, let's go ahead and get start getting things closed. Let's close our boarding steps and we'll get the doors closed too here. My cargo door. Everything else, let's see, make sure the rest of it is. Okay, all this here. Shut the doors. All right, so now let's go ahead and start the first engine. I'm going to start the center engine first. So, um, which will be the rear engine. Parking brake is on. I'll make sure I check that, okay? Now let's get it cranked up. Rear engine is started. Now let's go ahead and repeat for the left and right engine. Okay, uh, let's start the left one now. Pump off, fuel pump. Those. 
start and let's hit the right engine now Magneto's on start and it's alive <coughs> okay so here everything's running looking good turn this off fuel is good I got a full tank, so my uh, auxiliary tanks here. Both of those are full, so I can transfer if I need any more fuel. But we look good. Let me see our tank. That's probably enough to make there. All right, so let's go ahead and get on over there. Round black box zero four, ready to taxi north departure. Okay, runway 28, uh, let's see, let's take a look here, oh, you know, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to throw the taxi ribbon on real quick, and we'll take a look at that, let's do the taxi ribbon, and it'll give you an idea of where this is at, so when I turn it on, I'm going to have to go, oh, I don't know, let's see, to the left or to the right, okay, so, Let's stick with our first idea, okay, which is going to be... Okay. Alright, let's go take a look over there. Runway 28 is going to be... Alright, that's 1901. That's 28. Okay. So I'm going to have the taxi out right here and go on down. That'll work. Back in the cockpit cam, and I'm going to keep my window open for now. Alright, we're going to just turn out to the left. And go on down. Right. Let's get our parking brakes off. I don't need a push back. Can break off? I thought I did. It is off. Okay, you got I gotta give it some more throttle for sure. Yeah, it, it, it has to do that, you know, because I don't have my RPMs all the way up. They very low, so, which is fine because I'm I'm just gonna text. Let me turn this beast down here a little bit. It's pretty loud. Now, hopefully, you all can hear me better. So. Thanks for waiting there, sir, but I don't need services today. Not, not right now. And once I close the window here, the side glass, it will get quieter, but we can leave it open for now. Okay, so now let's go on down to the end, 28. This is a good taxi and speed, I like it. Let's see, just like it is, perfect. 
can probably go ahead and click this back on. I like to keep it on. Okay. It's getting a little bit fast now, so I'm back off. seems a little faster than what it is inside, but it's still more than what I want. The wind is calm here today. This area and just turn around and get lined up on runway 28. It should be pretty scenic because, I mean, it's the Caribbean, you know, so yeah. All right, let's get lined up perfectly on the side, right about here. This is good. Okay, now my parking brake is on. I put that back on. So now let's go ahead and let's get our prop RPMs to max. Close our window here on the side. And um, let's also, really quick before we, let's just let it get spooled up here. Let's get this at 3,000. All right, now let's go ahead and go. Take it off. So we're going. Those throttles up. And I dropped in one notch of flaps just now. Yep, and this is one of the planes that'll take off on its own. It'll rotate on its own as long as you got one notch of flaps in. You got plenty of room, so no no reason to uh, try to manually rotate. I'm gonna keep my flaps down in one notch until I get some altitude here. loud when it gets up, you know, when you get your engines throttled up. Okay, now let's go ahead and we're going to hit this now. Autopilot, let's do a heading too. Let's do heading now until I get things situated here. I'm going to pull back on these flaps and that'll be good. Let's zoom out here. Let's see most of the ground. Okay, let me really turn some more. Let's go to about 50 or 60. Maybe about 60. We can just keep it at 500, 600 feet a minute, that'll work. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm getting a little high on speed, so let's come back now, which is all right. I don't want to go quite back that far. now. Almost perfect. A little more throttle. Keep it at about 130 right here on my airspeed. Hey, I think 
a little bit more on the throttle because so. let's just do it. Let's go. Let's keep it all the way up until we clear this. We can keep our RPMs, our proper RPMs, where they're at, but we keep it full until we're done climbing. That way, we show the seals here. Last off at zero four, leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Okay, let's Tower see about black box what zero four have. frequency change. Approach Black Box 04 is Type Britain Norman Trilander 5 miles north of Point Salines, 2,200 feet. Request flight following. Black Box 04, approach. Yeah, she got a little bit quieter now because uh, I'm trying to keep back on six both my RPMs and my throttles. Even though I'm not quite at my cruise yet, I'm only going to go to 3,000 feet. We might have to increase our rate of flying here because you know why we Roger are getting Black Box close zero to those hills already. You know, let's get up there. I need to put more RPMs in. I can. Yeah, those things are pretty high, huh? Here, by the time we get up there, but I should have climbed out a little bit, uh, a little more in the angle than that. I, mean, I should have increased my, just my uh, ascent right there because getting up on these pretty quick. Oh, we are at, we are already at 3,000. All right, so yeah, let's get up higher. Let's go to five. I don't need five, just four is good. If anything, you'll have some good sights here. And I can I can back off on this. That way I can keep a 130. Let's go ahead and back off now. Bottles. Alright, so now more about this sailing guy. I'll talk to you about. Okay, so um, basically, uh, let's see here. As I mentioned, he was famed for crossing the Atlantic at 16 years old. And he was a boat builder. He built boats, things like that, and, um, you know, big yachts. You know, we're not talking just like really big sailboats. You know, we're talking big yachts. You know, he was born in the UK, and the guy he sailed his entire life, entire life. You know, in in fact, from what I understand, he was born aboard a sailing yacht. You um, know, 
And as he got up in age, he, you know, he continued living on his boat, and, and he, I guess he, you know, he didn't sail a whole lot once he started getting older. He was like 83, like I mentioned before, he was 83 when he passed away. So, you know, so, you know, when you get older like that, up in age, sometimes it's a little hard to, you know, walk around on the boat and raise your sails and do everything like that. Everything is required on the sail, it's pretty tough, you know. So, um, yeah, so he stood there in this island where I'm going to right now, which is, uh, did I say it was Cariaco? Yeah, Cariaco, Cariaco Island. You know. There is also the spot where his yacht was at. And um, we're going to pass over that area as well. You know? So he might actually, it might show that yacht there because I, mean, I don't know when the, the satellite data was changed more. But, um, yeah, so we're going to see that, that that whole area, and this area is in that documentary. Coming over some nice islands here. This island is, let's see, we'll be coming over here. Um, That is Rondé Island. Rondé Island. Right here, this one right in front of me. It doesn't look very populated. At least not so far, not from what I can see from here. Oh yeah, it looks like a little lake or something right there. Oh, yes. And I don't see much at all on, on these islands. In fact, not a single dwelling. It's like an anchorage down here, apparently. There's a place there. That, I don't see a whole lot there. It looks like a pretty place. Another little small island here. Now, these actually may be a lot bigger than what they look. You know how things are just, don't, don't look very big in the air, you know? Everything is small. Even at 4,000 feet. China. Other than those hills when the first took off, those are coming quick. Zoom in a little bit here. Alright, so um we're already getting pretty close. Let's go ahead and start descending now. We've got a 2000 feet. Back, I don't know if she can count two dollars back. So. Let's go back more. I want to go even slower. I'm going to come back on my RPMs. So, this area right here is that harbor. That's what they show in that video where all of the boats are docked at and everything. And that's where Paul Johnson's his, uh, vessel is docked right there. I don't know what they had a name. I, I don't know, it was a Venus, something, the type of 
sailboats that he designed, the type of yachts were called something I don't remember what they said. They were only watched it one time, you know, and I just watched it not, not long ago, maybe about an hour and a half ago, two hours ago. And I was like, you know, where is that at? You know, where is he at? Where? What, it's really pretty out there. I looked it up and it was Grenada in Cariaco, which is right, right here. So, let's see where we are now. We are coming down to 2,500 feet. Head in, work my head in here a little bit. Take the nav off because what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit different course here. We're going to go to the right a little more. Turn up this way. Then we will pass like come right over here. We can see it pass right over it, you may not see it as well as when we can if it's off to our left here. Okay, let's zoom in this. Alright, so here we are coming up on this Yeah, you can see, you know, on the end, you know, a lot of boats out there. Okay, we're losing some speed, so let's get back out of the way. It's easy to get caught up in the scenery, as we know caught up in the scenery and looking at things and you start not watching the plane too well and you start having problems. Yeah, so right up in here, supposedly around here somewhere was where his boat was at, Cherub, and that's where he spent his last days. He actually died in the vessel. Yeah, that's it. Yes, here. The water wave just kind of goes right through there. Make sure that it isn't any high mountains or nothing that it's not going to crash into by looking at things. Yeah, so here's the airport we're going to land at. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back out to uh, the west, out this way, circle around. And rather than coming this way, um, well, I could come in this way. But, you know, there is some higher uh, elevations right here, so... But I, it, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. I would rather come out this way. So I'm going to turn out this way. I'm coming that way. Let's go ahead and turn out to the west now. I'm going to stay at 2,500. Up there, overlooking the beautiful water of the family. How oh, would you like to live somewhere like that? Huh? Would that be incredible? Even the roads, how the roads just kind of go up there. I would just like this to drive down here, right up here. Yeah, I'm gonna go out this way and give myself plenty of room. So, um, so 
so we're not going to rush to just get the plane down. Let's check out the scenery first. Let's see this area first. Okay, don't worry. I'll have I'll have you back on the ground safely. I'm I'm pretty confident I can do this. Well, that's nice. No visibility issues. Not a lot of. But I'm going to make sure we get myself plenty of room to line up. And this is going to also have us pass right over this harbor right here. Let's turn a little more towards the west. Back on our throttles, we are going too fast. Now let's knock off the autopilot. Be good. Drop down one notch of flaps. Two. Should we be descending? You know, we might be a little high. See, we can get that. We can get the plane slowed down enough, though, that we can descend without getting too fast. If not, I might have to go around. But no big deal if I have to. Yeah, I think we are going to have to go around. I'm thinking it's looking like that. Tower black box zero four two miles west seven hundred feet to land. We're just too fast. Black box zero four tower. Altimeter two niner decimal niner two one two eight five F four. Enter left now with runway two seven. It was kind of faster than what I want to be, you know. So I might have to come back around. Yeah, let's go back around. We're gonna have to. Do big deal, I'll just go back around. Really, I should have been at about a thousand when I made that turn. But, you know, I mean, not perfect. Mistakes happen, right? The object is, is to get the plane down. See? When you're having to do that, that steep of a descent, you know, you get your speed's just going to be too high. We need to be down about you know, 90 or something, or 100 at most. Not no 120, 130. It's just too much. But good thing, at least, it doesn't take long to do a, a go around with this plane. Are we back up to almost 2,000 now? So. I'm going to make this turn. If I'm going to turn right around there, I'm going to make sure I'm at about 1,000. It would have helped if I went out even further. Okay, this is going 
uh, well hands off it. We're just slowly um, descending. I think we got it this time. I'll be going to go around. It's going to speed a little less. Let's get the plane shut down now. And the whistle. And oh, let's get our, our batteries and everything. Oh, let's get the boarding steps on. And the chocks. The rest is okay. We're not going to worry about those at the moment. So off here. A lot of little switches to go through. Uh, we are good. We are down on the ground, and we've arrived. All right, so hope you all enjoyed the flight and the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, I will put the link down in the description for that documentary if you'd like to watch it. I think it's pretty good.
if you, especially if you're into sailing or whatever. Even if you're not, you might, might kind of find it interesting. And uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye for now.